Hi guys, Rick Damoth here with Cowtown USA in Cuba, Missouri. Uh, two horse slant, 11 foot short wall with a slide. All aluminum, aluminum frame, aluminum floor, uh, all aluminum Lakota. It's a metallic charcoal with silver and black striping. Very pretty trailer. Aluminum wheels, no hubcaps, but aluminum wheels. 16 inch radial tires. Uh, let's just walk you around this real quick. You have a power awning, just push the button. You have extra LED lighting on the outside, outside speakers. You've got, you roll your, uh, your awning out here, plug your box fan in, get your electric skillet, cook outside, comes with a table, drop down doors, so you're going to have tremendous ventilation. I mean, look at all the way through this thing. That's how much air is going to come, come through this. Your Goodyear radial tires, brakes on all axles, torsion suspension, aluminum frame, aluminum floor. Let's go here. You got a step that folds down, real simple. Nothing sliding underneath. It's all hinged. You got a little grease fitting on the end. We'll take you underneath it here. Aluminum frame, aluminum floor, four inch beams, and then. Uh, uh, structure running lengthways. Well, that structure running lengthways, guys. Some of the more well-known names will uh, will not have that structure running lengthways in it. They'll just be flat plate. So when you get the Lakota trailer, you got the extra beams, better support. And I want to talk about some things that you know. I know it's pretty. I know it's shiny. But I want to show you some. Look how thick the hinge is on this. Your LED lighting tail lights, load light up here on the top, saddle racks, rear tack is all removable, and all your saddle racks are adjustable. Bridle hooks low and bridle hooks high, so you put your ones you use down here and your extras up here. Completely lined, insulated, even in the rear tack. Step right here to this door. You can see here on your locking mechanism, your blanket uh, blanket bars are hingeable, lockable, and a brush tray. Okay, I'm going to take you inside here. You have a stud divider that is removable, and you can also see you have your pass-through door, and the ceiling is fully insulated in this. Big deal, guys. That is a big deal probably 30 degrees cooler in the summertime with that insulated uh, ceiling so your animals get there they, they're not frustrated they're not mad you haul them as comfortable as you can possibly haul them now you got your mangers over here now mangers are a little confusing for a lot of people because they think they take up room but in actuality they don't because there's nothing under your your horse's feet don't go against that wall their head and neck above above that so what you get is extra storage. I'm going to bring you around here. Okay, they got your manger there with your storage, separate face bars, and look at the, the size, the depth of this door. So it's not going to twist, it's not going to warp on you. Now most two horses don't have an escape door. This one has an escape door. So if you can, you can want to put your your hay, your bedding, your shavings in here, your your barbecue pit, your uh, lawn chairs, extra feed. You can put all that up here in this front stall, especially if you just hold one animal. Double wall, rubber line behind. You can see there, and there's your view of the drop-down door. Then you can see the solid head shield here behind, between the horses, which a lot of times stops a lot of fighting. Okay, now, now look at this door right here. You go in at night and you close it behind you. Now you do have this if you're hauling down the road, but when you go in at nighttime and you're camping, you can deadbolt the door right behind you, just like you do the back door of your house. And again, we got the extra step for your camper. This is the view of your slide out. I'll come up here, I know the sun's shining bright. Now, let me explain this to you too. You got fresh water here. So your fresh water, if you're leaving home and you're going out on uh, 
oh, I shouldn't say the word rural, wilderness maybe, where there's no access to water, you can haul water from home. Okay, if you're going to a campsite, you can actually connect your water hose here. Okay, then you come right here, you can actually drain the water here for, for your horses, because a lot of them don't like drinking that city, that chlorinated water. They're just not used to it, so they don't, they, a lot of them won't drink. You have dual hydraulic jacks. Here's your controls here, up and down. And you can take this key out, so the thinking is on this, that if you take the key out when you leave, they can't jack your trailer up that nobody can fool with it, you know, attempt to steal it. Dual batteries, instead of one battery, and dual propane. Okay, let me give you a shot of this side. I know it's a little darker on this side. And then I'm going to walk you back on this side. Showed you aluminum frame, aluminum floor. Okay. Step up here to give you a view of the, of the whole side of it. Trailer is very pleasing to the eye. Okay, and I'll take you in. And show you what this is going to look like. Okay. It's got a hickory interior in it. Is your color. Alright, now I'm going to step back here. Kind of give you an overall, an overall view of it. Okay, you got a couch that folds down makes into a bed. You got a folding table there. Okay, and then on this side you have dual stainless steel sinks. Extra tall necks so you can put, if you want to fill up a... Uh, a jug for t tea or Kool-Aid or whatever you can you can do that as well. We recess the cooktop so you can actually use this to set your bowls on. We've added a convection microwave. All this does is replace. Uh, you know, if you shows you here, if you want to make biscuits, pizza, bake a chicken, you can do that. And it says 50% faster, so it's it's actually a an oven in in a microwave. So spin you around here. This is your owner manual. Deep storage here. Okay. You got uh, ducted AC, ducted furnace. That just moves your, your cooling uh, evenly throughout the cabin. Okay. Spin you around here. Couch makes into a bed. Now, this is a kind of a chocolate color and it's trimmed in gator. You can see your gator is actually inset in here it's not a cheap wrap so it's inset in here this is your slide and you can see how deep your slide is gives you all the walking around room once your tables put up okay there's your drawers more storage here okay now I'm gonna come up here and you're gonna have a closet on the left that'll be a hanging closet and then you got another hanging closet here Okay, then you have storage up here. Now, I'm going to walk you back here in the bathroom. Okay, now, here on the right as you walk in the bathroom, you have another hanging closet. I just wanted to do this to talk about storage. You can never have enough storage. Okay, and then an additional hanging closet. So you have two hanging closets in the, in the bathroom. And I apologize if I'm moving too fast. You, you could even use this bottom as a hamper. It's pretty deep. Okay, I'm going to take you back up here. So you have two hanging closets, one hanging closet at the foot of the bed, one hanging closet at the edge of the bed. Okay, so lots of closets. And there's drawer storage there. Here's another thing I think that you guys are going to look. Look at the, how wide these steps are. Most of them are little skinny steps, big, massive steps. More storage there. Now, if anybody does a lot of camping, they understand the size of the refrigerator. A lot of these will come with a, with a refrigerator, not much bigger than the top of this, which is the freezer alone on this one. Now this is gas and electric as well. So you can run it on propane or you can run it on 110. Okay, and then this is your refrigerator on the bottom. It's large. Now a lot of folks don't understand the difference in them. There is a difference. Okay, I'm going to step up here and I'm going to give you a view. Oh, there's a stereo system here too to show you that. Okay, here's your view. There's more storage over your slide. Okay, and this is your this is your walking around room. 
Well, you got lots of room as you walk around, folks. There's your stool. Okay. Take you in here and close the doors. Okay, now we have a power fan here that you can actually set the temperature you'd like it to come down to. This will this will open up in the nighttime or in the daytime. You want to pull the hot air out, you set it here. And also, if it rains, guys, it'll actually close itself. So you can actually leave the trailer. You can leave this open and say, hey, when it gets to 75 degrees, 71 degrees, it'll shut the fan off and close the door. Okay, now there's three switches. Okay, there's your switch over the sink, and the sink's got a mirror. You can see all this, stainless steel sink there. Okay, and then this is your interior lights, and you're thinking, well, what is that third light? Well, that third light actually turns the light on in the rear, in the rear horse compartment, which is, which is pretty neat. I'll show you right there. Okay, and the convenience to that is, is you come in this door, you, you deadbolt it behind you, and then you... You take off your muddy boots, your wet clothes, dirty clothes back here, and then you're able to go through this door into your living quarters without bringing all the dirt, the grime from the trail ride, uh, which works out, which works out really, really well. And the light switch works out because you guys had horses, you know, so many times. Two o'clock in the morning, somebody's out. You know, they got out, they come untied, they're sick, so you need to be in a hurry so you can come here. Flip the light on, see exactly what you're doing, tr not trying to find a flashlight to find your clothes. That's the benefit of that third switch. Okay, now we have a pocket door here. You can see it right here. It slides across through here. That way it doesn't have to swing into the bathroom, somebody can take up a room, or swing out into the living quarters, you know, causing somebody to have to step away from the sink. This, this is the best by far. Okay, so again, we got the Hickory, which is an upgrade. We got the Gator, which is an upgrade. I mean, it's just absolutely a beautiful interior. Um, I think I've told you about all I know to tell you about at this point. Um, give us a call, 573-885-6300. 573-885-6300. Uh, Cuba, Missouri. Go online, Cowtown USA, I-N-C. Cowtown USA, I-N-C.com. Uh, watch our, our TV show, RFD, on, on Tuesday nights at 8.30 Central Time, 8.30 Tuesday nights, RFD Television, Women's Pro Rodeo Today. We're a proud sponsor of that, uh, of that television show. We appreciate you guys. Again, brand new, just got it in, Lakota two-horse slant. We don't do two, very many two horses, but we do have this one. Just got it in. 11-foot short wall with the slide out. Give us a call. 573-885-6300. 573-885-6300. Thank you.